The mass upload feature in the data conversion tool is provided to trigger an automated bulk upload of multiple entities. To get started, click on Tasks. Then click on Data Conversion Folder. Click Mass Upload. To trigger Mass Upload, select the New Radio button. From the Entity Group list, select All if you wish to trigger for all the entity groups, or choose the individual entity group. In this demo, we will proceed loading all the entities from Core Entity Group. Clicking on the Skip Validation checkbox will skip all the business validation and directly load the data onto the target tables. Next, enter a description. Click the Mass Upload button. This will trigger an asynchronous process that will process each file through the same three stages as in the individual screens, but will be run automatically. At any time, you can stop the mass upload. Click on the red cross icon to stop the mass upload. Click the Refresh button to provide the statistics of the ongoing mass upload process. The status in the results panel will change from In Progress to completed once the mass upload process is complete. The file upload and processing statistics for each file is processed during the mass upload. It is displayed in the mass upload statistics panel. The related errors encountered during each of the three stages are captured in the error tables below. You can click on the download failed data button to generate files with only the failed records which could then be manually corrected for a fresh upload. The Search Radio button could be used to search the status of a previous or ongoing mass upload. When finished, click Done. We'll continue by talking about Mocks. To get started, click on Tasks. Then click on Data Conversion Folder. Click System Administration. The next section of this demo deals with Mocks. During the Data Migration phase, you may wish to run multiple rounds of conversions on the same files through successive cycles. The tool supports the mock feature where you can complete a mock cycle and then revert the data back to the initial stage. You can then start a fresh mock and reload the files. To start a new mock, click on the Start Mock button and confirm Yes to the confirmation pop-up. This will run as an asynchronous process. Clicking on the Refresh icon on top of the Mocks table will give the status of the Mocks. Once the system has been reset for a new Mock, the status for that new Mock will be shown as Starting. This will run as an asynchronous process. Clicking on the Refresh icon on top of the Mocks table will give the status of the Mocks. Once the system has been reset for a new Mock, the status for that new Mock will be shown as Started. 